Hello and welcome back to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a new free-to-play racing game called Ridge Racer. It's currently available as an early access on Steam, so you can just go start the game for free. There's no purchasing required to get into the early access. This is going to be a free-to-play game, so there are going to be microtransactions. You can see right now I'm going through the tutorial, seeing some of the different things, the progression system. As you gain experience, you gain levels, you can get upgrades for your car, you can get repair kits, unlock new tracks, or you can use some of your little kits here to accelerate that process. The kits start at 99 cents and then go up from there. The starter kit is 99 cents, comes with some repair kits and whatnot. It will access through your Steam account too, so whatever purchases you have tied through Steam. Now go check out the settings. It does have options for keyboard and mouse as well as a controller. I did have a little bit of issue with the controller, which we'll see in a little bit. On top of that, you can see the controller options. It does use an Xbox 360 controller. Memorize some of the keys. You got boost drift, change camera, look back, and then your other joystick is going to be the uh, controls for the car. Now you got time challenge or play. Play, you can have spirit career. What this basically is, is you'll create a spirit copy of yourself on the tracks and then race against similarly skilled players and progress against their spirits. Maybe you get a little bonuses for yours. It's an interesting little mode, basically an asynchronous racing mode. So right now I have two tracks unlocked. I can unlock more as I go, but most of them are tied to your level. Right now I'm level one, so not gonna happen. I'm going to start with just the initiation. From there, a garage. You can see you have two slots for cars. Right now, I have three I could choose from. They're in the form of cards, so if you want to see it in a little bit of a TCG style gameplay, you can see how the cards are explained. Also, you notice on the bottom, the stats. It looks like the third car, really, I couldn't tell what they have going for them. The second one, a little more acceleration, or first one, a little more acceleration, second one, a little more speed. Personally, I'm bad at racing games, which means I intend to have to brake a little more often. So I'm going to go with the extra acceleration instead of the extra speed. So you can see what it would take. It's a level 1 car. It requires two repair kits to repair. Maybe the third one, that, that was its thing. Maybe it's cheaper to repair. It has four-wheel drive. And you got the name of it. It is a common, so it's a common card. Now to get more cars, you can level up. There's a nice little tip for how to get unlock new cars, level up, purchases, play against other players, just play the game. Also you get boosts, you can upgrade your car I believe up to 9 times. So right now you start with just one common boost, you have to choose between these two. I'm probably just going to go with the tires to get a little better grip. Again, I, it's my inexperience with racing games, I tend to anything that gives me more traction makes it a little easier for me to play. You can see the people I am playing against, their spirits. So this is the speeds I have to deal with. One problem I'm going to run into right off the bat. I'm trying to use an Xbox controller right now. You can see we've already started. For whatever reason, that wasn't working. So maybe it's because I started using the keyboard and I plugged the controller in afterwards. Just a little warning for anyone that uses both. Instead, I switched to the keyboard. You can use arrow keys to control and then WASD to do your boosts and whatnot. So there we go. That's the point where I realized my keyboard is what I had to do. So here we go. So I got a little 20 second delay. That kind of hurts a little bit. Gonna make it pretty hard to keep up with these spirit cars. Although maybe they have the same problem. So drifting. Drifting is a way to control. It helps you make these sharper turns. And also to... Uh, turn better than I just did. Get control to do a boost. It isn't a timer though, so you don't have a lot of them. You can't just boost the whole time. So there we go. Boost! Bottom right corner, that bar fills up. When the bar's full, you can boost away. You can see that spirit car was just wiping out. Also, you can hear the soundtrack in the background. And you get the timers. And then whenever you see a timer, it means a turn is coming. So get ready for it. You can hold back to brake. Also, there's some interesting options for racing through the cities. Looks a little like Monument Circle in Indianapolis. You can jump through over things like that. That's always fun. 
going through downtown right here. My boost is ready. Next time I get into straight away, I'll use it. I'm not going to right now. Looks like I have two ways I could have gone. I could have gone for the left way. It might have been more fun. Alright, boost! Should have read the sign, see where maybe told where we're at. Let's go through here! And you got a little achievement for going through too. Whee! Whoa! That was a bit of a wipe out there. Achievement did give me extra score. Almost it was, I almost considered seeing if I can go up the stairs, but decided against trying. Make this nice little sharp turn right here. There we go. That was a bit of a clencher. Boost is ready next time, next time we get to a straightaway, which this looks good. Go! It is in KPH. So, and there's my speed. I believe I finished in third. Well, considering I lost 20 seconds in the beginning, just trying to fiddle with the controls, not too bad. Not too great. Overall, the controls for the car felt pretty good. I'm not sure I'm a fan of playing a racing game on a keyboard, so if I were you, I would suggest playing to use a controller. Maybe if you got a joystick, go for that. Just doesn't feel quite right on the keyboard to me. Check the progression system right here. You can see the score you got. Score will translate to experience. Experience, level up my card, get me all more upgrades, better tracks, maybe unlock new cars eventually. Can sell off my cars for repair kits. I even got a repair kit there, so if I need to. And I get one random card. I get a random reward. What do I want? I won a race traction control, so I get another little upgrade for my car. It's called Ridge Racer. It's currently available for free. Early access on Steam. Check it out if you're interested. If you like the content, stay tuned to more from MLPlay. Maybe I'll try some speed demons next, see if I can get a better spirit time going.